What up YouTube, Dave here and you are watching Studio Motors. Today's a really dope episode on a very limited, very exclusive car that the market has gone absolutely crazy over. We're talking about the Land Rover Defender James Bond edition. This car came to be because of the James Bond film and the market's gone nuts as soon as Land Rover announced there will be a 007 Defender. And here it is. Today we're gonna take an in-depth dive into the car, tell you what makes it so special, and talk about is it really worth a hundred grand over window sticker? Let's check it out. makes a lot of different trims on their cars. On their Range Rover lines, they have Autobiography, they have SV, they have SVR, which is the fastest trim. On some of their Land Rover models, they have Dynamic, Dynamic X. So there's been all types of trims. This is something very special though. This only exists 300 of them in the entire world. Very, very numbered, the James Bond edition. And what makes this a special car is the fact that before Land Rover even produced the first Defender off the assembly line, they already were approached by the James Bond production team to include the vehicle in the movies. So from the very beginning, from the inception of the Defender, the Land Rover team and the Bond team knew that this would be the vehicle in the new Bond movies and that they would be making a special edition version of the Defender for the Bond fans. The one of 300 number, the fact that there's only 300 worldwide has driven the market through the roof on this thing. So let's take a step back to 2022 and what Land Rover did with the Defender. We had four cylinder turbo version of the engine. We had a six cylinder version of the engine that put out a decent amount of horsepower and it was a good engine. In 2022, they released the V8 version of this car. The V8 version of the car pumps 518 horsepower and 461 pound feet of torque. That is a lot of power for an off-roader. And I'm so glad Land Rover decided to throw some V8s in there before we see the end of the V8 days. That's already special that the fact that it's a 22 V8 Land Rover and the James Bond package on top of that just makes it even better. At first glance, you're gonna notice this thing is so black. It's a black hole. This is a completely murked out car. Everything's black on it besides this very front Land Rover badge and the ice blue brakes that are on the car. So, and that's done in a satin finish on the brakes as well. And it's a metallic blue. It looks gorgeous. Some of these have sold for 150, 120 over window sticker. Now my client that I sourced this car for, which was not an easy task, okay? There's only 300 in the world. So it's been cutthroat getting our hands on one of these things and not paying hundred grand over window. But that's what we do at Studio Motors. So if you want something rare, hard to get, you've heard of something coming out and it's just cutthroat out there, you can't get it, where are the guys to make that happen for you? I'm really excited to deliver this car to our client today. I think he's just gonna be head over heels about this thing. These headlights, they have a BMW-like ring. It's almost a half circle and the top portion of it is cut off and it gives it a very aggressive, mean-eyed look. The headlights, I think they did a great job with this car. I love that it's not flush. You have this rectangle housing and the headlight is pretty deep in. So that depth adds a lot of character to the front end as well. The rest of the trim on the front just helps bring that unique look together. So even though it's all gloss black, there is a lot of depth and texture to it that make it pop. There's so many layers to how the bumper's put together. And even though it's not a Bronco look or it's not a Jeep Wrangler look with like a metal bumper in the front that's very industrial looking, they did a great job with not having that but still making the front end look off-roady, beefy, and give it that outdoorsy vibe.
The back of this thing is so grisly, man. It's one of my favorite back ends on a modern SUV. I love how flat cut it is. It's almost like it was abruptly chopped off. And I think that's the effect they were going for. Bond model comes with the Defender X tail lights and it looks so good very monochromatic vibe in the back these quad tail pipes these aren't exclusive to the bond car but they're exclusive to the v8 defenders this exhaust system makes the car sound really good Even though it's a very flat design, there is a lot going on in those tail lights, and I think it's just perfect. These squares that they did, and in the smaller versions of it, and how the spacing is, especially with the smoked finish, I think these tail lights look great. When you come in, you're looking at this angle, the body where it comes down flat and then expands like this, and it's got that masculine stance. I think they did a great job reintroducing the Defender back into Land Rover with this car. This is one of the coolest looking Land Rover interiors ever done. We're used to this bougie vibe coming from Land Rover in general. And this thing is such a far departure from all that. It's crazy. It is a very utility looking interior. Starting from the door panels here that you could see the raw exposed black paint from the outside with these pieces attached on with these very industrial exposed bolt heads showing those deep indents on, around those bolts really emphasize that bolt being there and showing that we meant to show you this we meant to have it exposed when you open the door you're going to see this badge that's labeled sv bespoke one of 300 for the james bond car and you're going to see defender 007 on the kick plate right here as well, which is really cool. And that lights up. As soon as you look at this dash, you see like extra storage around here where you could put things. It's wrapped in leather, but this piece is plastic and it's basically a built-in grab handle. The steering wheel is straight up metal, which looks really cool. And it's wrapped in Alcantara. It's a great feeling steering wheel, very off-roady. Tons of storage around here, more exposed bolts. Fit and finish the stitching, the leather and everything is very nice. The best of all of it going on in here. It's not just bare bones to where you're like, damn, 100 grand and doesn't even have any leather inside it's not that nor is it too bougie to be a legitimate off-roader i think it's the perfect perfect balance love the interior on this thing and when you turn the car on you automatically get the screen that says defender 007 it's got these little things that let you know it's a 007 car but it's not done over the top if somebody didn't know you'd be flying under the radar We hope you really enjoyed this video. We hope you learned something. And if you are looking for a Bond Defender or anything hard to find, give me a call. I don't know if there's any Bond cars left out there, but give me a call and I'll do everything I can to find it. Dave, Studio Motors, we are out. <laughs>